Now entering the elevator to the retail underground, enjoy the descent to the subversive layer of knowledge. Welcome everybody, my name is Mark, and I'll be working with Kyle to bring you new and exciting content to this channel. Our goal is to help average people navigate the changes in the retail marketplace and especially the cryptocurrency marketplace. Now, a little bit about me since I'm new to the channel. My name's Mark. I've been an accountant for 39 years, a CFO for the last 14 years. I've been involved in many different businesses over my career, and I've been involved in marketing for the last 39 years. I'm also an experienced trader, and more importantly, I've been involved in the cryptocurrency space for the past five years. If you want to get a hold of me, you can reach me at theretailunderground at gmail.com. So what we're going to cover today is how retail is changing to e-commerce and how cryptocurrencies fit into the picture and the future of cryptocurrency, specifically Bitcoin and Ethereum. And we're going to give you a few price predictions. And also at the end, I'm going to tell you about some new and exciting things we're going to bring to the channel on a regular basis. Okay, next up, we're going to talk about how retailers in the future are all going to start accepting cryptocurrency. And here's an example from retailer PacSun. They're now starting to accept cryptocurrency. Youth fashion retailer PacSun will accept Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies according to their press release. I found this on Payments.com and they found that more than 54% of current or former crypto owners are members of Generation Z. And here's a quote from their CEO, seeing their increasing desire towards cryptocurrency, it was clear that we needed to adjust and offer cryptocurrency as another payment option to further instill their confidence in us as one of their go-to retailers that truly listens. And we all know that the popularity of cryptocurrency is growing and it's growing at a fever pitch. And according again to Payments.com's research, as many as 18% of the population, 46 million consumers would likely make a purchase with cryptocurrency. And that number is going to go to 100% over the next few years. So with that said, I just need to remind you that we're in a once in a generation opportunity. This is the biggest transfer of wealth that's going to happen in the next few years. And it's because of the blockchain. I was involved about 20 years ago. I ran an internet business for three years from 1998 to 2001 because I could see how the internet was going to change all industries. Well, you need to know that once in a generation, something comes along and the blockchain is it. Cryptocurrency is it. This is a once in a generation opportunity for us. And so next we're going to talk about Bitcoin and we're going to talk about Ethereum. With Bitcoin, one of the most outspoken Bitcoin enthusiasts is Michael Saylor. He was one of the first public company CEOs to put Bitcoin on their balance sheet. He's come out with a new prediction just recently to say that Bitcoin in the next several years will go to $10 million. And so instead of me telling you what Michael Saylor said, I'm going to let you hear it in his own words. Every single month for the past 13 months, there have been fundamental developments in the space that have made it a better idea. Every single month, every week, I almost see a new development that makes, that makes the network stronger, smarter, faster, harder. It makes it more anti-fragile. It makes it more like it, it becomes clearer and clearer that this is the future of digital property, this is digital energy, this is the future of digital money. So, to summarize, I am more bullish than ever. The Bitcoin King Michael Saylor in his latest interviews tells investors I'm more bullish than ever and gives a prediction that Bitcoin is going to 10 million dollars a coin. The MicroStrategy CEO has gained a lot of notoriety over the last 12 months since he first started buying Bitcoin for his company, yet I still don't think he gets enough praise for his savvy investing moves, being an early investor in Facebook, Twitter, Google, and Apple. Now, not only is Bitcoin going to become the world's number one place for people to store their wealth, Ethereum stands to disrupt many industries, in particular, the financial industry, decentralized finance, 
and according to Deloitte, one of the top four accounting firms in the world, those who are not prepared risk being left behind. Now next up is our Ethereum price prediction. And if you don't know him, Raul Paul, a former Goldman Sachs exec, he's going to explain why he believes Ethereum is going to $20,000. During a recent interview, former Goldman Sachs executive Raul Paul talked about Ethereum and said that Ethereum above $20,000 feels about right. In an interview released in August, Paul said that twenty k was his price prediction for Ethereum and that he had arrived at this prediction for Ethereum by mapping out the assets chart over Bitcoin's chart in 2017. So again, instead of me explaining it, I'm going to let you hear it from Raul himself. I've said this recently, I'm incredibly wildly bullish about the space and have been, you know, um, in the last few months. And I've been saying this point, everything is going to about to start breaking out. And we've seen this happen before. We know the pattern. This October, November, December, probably January, February, March is going to be the point where it's almost impossible to lose money by both owning anything. Um, it's that point in the risk cycle where maximum risk is seeking is coming. And we've had this long period of sideways consolidation. And now we're going to see the fireworks. And I'm going to show you what I mean by the fireworks. So the first chart I'm going to show you is Bitcoin's price versus 2012-13 bull market. I've been using this for over a year and it's uncanny how it's worked. And that shows you exactly what I'm talking about, that the latter part of the year is a huge run. This tells you it would it could go up to 250,000 if it repeated the same pattern. I actually think there's an upside potential into next year because of the changing structure of the markets because institutions tend to allocate at quarter ends. They will have seen the FOMO of this quarter and many will be looking for the opportunity to invest in the new year, 2022. So hedge funds um, and institutions will be allocating money in January and think it creates a second leg to this along with the ETF. So that chart is incredible. The other one that's really got my focus, as everybody knows, has been Ethereum. Ethereum has been this sideways consolidation since May. It's just about to break out of a wedge pattern. These kind of patterns, when they break, tend to be explosive in move. And guess what? Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum is exactly following Bitcoin um, over an extended period of time. We're talking six years here of, um, of Bitcoin's previous run. So, again, it just suggests that, that Ethereum can get up to 20,000. Again, I actually think it exceeds this, but it just shows you what the back end of the year or going out into March can look like. If you want to see it in regular price terms, it kind of looks like this. <laughs> Um, that's not on the log chart, which is, you know, again, mind blowing in terms of performance. And then obviously the bear market steps in after that. We've gone through the period of consolidation and the period of consolidation is when the market gathers the power. And we know we've got restricted supply of ETH, all the Bitcoin coming off exchanges. We've got the ETF. We've got ETH 2.0. We've got lots of adoption going on. I, I couldn't think of a sweeter spot for this. I mean, this is as good an opportunity as we saw in March, April, May, when I started pounding the table and getting irresponsibly long. Ethereum is my base investment right now. It's 70% of my entire portfolio. It's why, I mean, other things can outperform. Solana will probably outperform, but it has more risk because it's not, it doesn't have as obviously defined network effects. It doesn't have some of the other identifiers. So ETH is a higher quality trade for me. Bitcoin's a high quality trade as well. Very high quality trade. I just think ETH is equally high quality for different reasons, but it's likely to outperform because of network effects and it's earlier than Bitcoin. Okay, there you have it. Long-term Bitcoin to $10 million and others are calling for Bitcoin to go to 110,000 to 250,000 in the next six months while we finish off this last bull run cycle. And, as Raul Paul predicts, Ethereum could reach as high as $20,000 by the end of this bull run cycle. So, you better get prepared, as the next several months are going to be very exciting times for cryptocurrency. Now, lastly, I want to share with you uh, what Kyle and I have prepared for the channel 
over the next few months. The new features we have for Retail Underground include Derek, our technical analyst, and he's going to help us uh, do some technical analysis on various cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin and Ethereum. And that'll help you decide when to buy or add to your existing holdings. We're also going to institute a Crypto Fantasy League. We'll give more details on that in the future, but this is where for the people that join our league and do very well with their picks, they'll be able to earn some cash prizes paid out in cryptocurrency and some gift cards. And also we're going to continue, like Kyle has done in the past, we're going to continue reviewing the lower level but up and coming altcoins. So I just want to thank everybody for listening today. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. Until the next time, this is Mark signing off.